Hello there, Andrew Lynch here, and so you want a good golf swing, you want a swinging motion, you want a powerful golf swing, you want them all. Well, this is one of the things you better start understanding that you need if you're going to have a good swing, and that is balance. It's something I've touched on, in a, but I really want to go to town on a balance. People don't understand that uh, a lot of the time in golf, we're trying to do a swinging motion when we're already starting from out of balance. Now, I used to do with clients, or I still do with clients, I kind of, I say, could you think about the golf swing? And what I do is I'm stood quite close to them and I just push them, their shoulders back. And I say, what was you thinking when I pushed you back? And he was thinking, I've got to get back into balance. I said, you wasn't thinking about the golf swing, was you? No. Well, I said, that's how your brain is thinking when you start from an out of balance position. Weight on the toes. Your brain is not thinking, oh, swing it over this shoulder, swing it over that shoulder. It's thinking, I want to get back into balance. Balance is a survival skill <laughs> that's kept us humans alive. You know, uh, you know, when we stand up like this, nice and straight, we're perfectly in balance. We feel very good. And it's very easy now for me to speak to you from a sideways on position even. But if I start rocking back, my voice changes and all I'm thinking about is don't fall over, Andrew, don't fall over. I'm not thinking the same. And yet so many people will start a golf swing from a poor balance position and expect to make a nice swing. If you're on your toes, your, bready, your, your, your brain is thinking, get back. Well, you can't swing a golf club, can you? So balance is crucial. Great players have it. You know, when you watch your club champion even, he's got it. And if you haven't got it, then it's one of the things that's holding you back because, you know, we've touched on the foundation, we've done the grip, but if you don't understand the importance of balance, you're going to struggle. So, for me, the, set, you know, the best way of finding balance, we've done grip and we've done stance and posture, but, you know, if, I, if this club is out there and I've got my good grip on it and I'm balanced here and I just let that club naturally drop and I adjust my feet to the width I am now balanced I'm in an athletically balanced position that is the simplest way I've been shown and it's still the best way I've been shown to get your balance so a lot of people will say well you know I'm going to do my bend my knees no 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 <laughs> you're not in balance at all you know again we're going to show that the simple way stood upright i've got my stance taken care of my width i just let that club drop down and there i am i'm athletically ready now from an athletically ready position i can make a swing and my brain is not compensating for being out of balance. You are starting to get it now, aren't you? You're thinking, ah, right. So I start in balance, I finish in balance. So if I'm in balance here, I can be in balance here. balance there and through. You saw a swing I did at the start uh, from the uh, front on position. That was my third swing of the day and it was pretty darn good. For, you know, may I say so. Uh, and if you noticed at the end of it I didn't fall off my feet, I didn't fall forward, I finished in balance. Little story they was holding a golf competition in Barbados and the, uh, the committee asked me to judge the, uh, 
uh, on a par three, the best swing. And when I said to the people who came through, everybody that came through, I said, I just want you to put your most elegant swing on the ball. I'm not bothered where the ball goes. I want the best and the most elegant swing. All of a sudden, the balance got better because they weren't ball fixated, hole fixated, or any other fear fixated. And a lot of people were like, oh, okay, so you're not bothered? Are you sure you're not bothered where the ball goes? No, I said, I'm not bothered where the ball goes. Just, I want to see an elegant, powerful swing. And they would kind of like go, oh, okay. And they'd all be holding the pose. And most of them went on the green and they'd be going, wow, yeah, I'm on the green. I can't believe it. And that's because they were balanced. You start in balance, you stand up a lot better chance of finishing in balance. So I hope from this kind of short video, you've got how important balance is. I've shown you how to be in balance and how to get it. And again, I'll show it just one more time because it's important. So I put my good grip on it. I stand upright in my golf width posture for an iron. I've just let the club come down. And there I am, athletically ready to swing the club. Also, it shows you the correct ball position and club position on the ground. That does. So you get to the correct ball position because a lot of people get too close or too far away. That shows you, that little drill there shows you your balance position and the proper ball position. So try this and uh, I think it's going to help you a lot once you understand how important balance is. Please get back to me with any improvements and uh, please press the like and the subscribe from Andrew Lynch, keeping it simple, but on balance this week. <laughs> Take care, see you next week. I'm in a beautiful UK now, and it's the same temperature as Barbados. Doesn't happen often. Bye.